Good evening, ladies and gents, guest gex, carrying on with Outlast, but it has been a few days since I played any of this, so bear with me. I do remember we were just creeping through this room uh, after having discovered this whole area that I didn't actually knew, know existed, but um, because I'm blind as a freaking bat. But anyway, we have to be a bit cautious because these angry screaming dudes seem to be what trigger him. Like that. That doesn't help. And essentially, uh, yeah, I think when sorry, I think when the people on the bed start screaming, that's sort of what triggers angry man with the big pair of pruning shears to come and try and prune us. Which obviously isn't ideal. I was just thinking, why is my character gasping? But I guess he kind of would be. Okay, no, I don't... I don't... I'm just trying to work out the geography of this place. I mean, would this not lead me out to the same corridor? Hang on, although this is a new bit. This is definitely a new bit because obviously this... Oh, sugar, he's seen me. Go! Go! Where do we go? Oh! Is that a... Oh Christ, the way he's right behind me! Jump, 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 jump! Can we get in? Oh, he did, he saw me! Oh my God, there he is. Okay, I don't quite understand the geography of that, because surely we just went in a massive, like, U-shape, so why we didn't end up on the same room? Do you know, I'm starting to wonder if there's a bit of a glitch here, because... Every time we seem to start, we have a full battery. Like, so when I'm thinking when I quit and save, I wonder if the game... Actually, I'm going to save there. Um, it seems that, as I said, the game sort of is, is re resetting the battery that we're on, because I'm sure we only had about half energy on this on battery 9, whereas um, we seem to be full again. Ow. Oh. Hang on, that... I don't know, hang on, surely there isn't much in there. We're looking for... Oh, God. We're looking for an elevator key, aren't we? Or a lift key. Okay, interesting. That does open. Okay. Why is it so grainy? Slightly concerned... Yeah, slightly concerned by how um, how many places there are to hide that the game is giving us. I'm not sure why why that is. Clangs from outside do not help either. Anyway, um, okay. Sorry, we're a little bit limited. <gasps> that must be it. I don't know who that is. That doesn't. He looks a bit different. Is that supposed to be the dude who we've been, who we saw earlier? Looks a bit different. Now I'm just trying to think. As soon as I, as soon as I pick that up, obviously all hell is going to break loose inevitably. I'm just trying to see what the, the what the way back is. Because if if we go pelting through here. Can I get back into there? I don't think I can. I don't even know where it is. Where is it? Yeah, there's no way I'll be able to get into there. So surely the game is going to have to open a new path to us once it all goes boobs up when I uh, when I pick up the key. Just trying to think. So either that door is going to open, which I think is highly unlikely because there's another locked door behind it. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought there might be a ramp leading up to a vent. But no. But no. Other options would be this door busting open. Which actually could be the case. That could potentially be what happens. I don't know. Or that door. Can't, apparently we're not allowed out there. Oh, well. 
What will probably happen is it will save when I grab it. Right, run. Yep. Get under the bed! As if he wouldn't see me the minute he walked into here. Anyway, something has obviously. <coughs> excuse me, something has obviously opened out there. He's a very angry man. Tempted to just do a runner, but he'll probably catch me because I don't know where I'm going. Run. Is this the bit? Yeah, I know where I am. I actually know where I am. And I'm glad I opened that door, or pushed that thing to one side. Nice! What? Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Am I supposed to be pushing anything? Oh god almighty! Oh! Oh he's bugging up the lift! Oh you pleb! You freaking pleb! Well I hope that hurt. Right, notes, what's he written? Step 1, squ Traeger juice, juice, I like that. I like that a lot. Which presumably, as I say, must be. There's always, always a vent in the roof of the of the elevator, lift, whatever. Oh, that friggin' pleb! I was so close. So we're technically a floor too high, aren't we, at the moment? Okay, okay. That's I don't know. I guess we're one step closer. It looks like we have no. Presume we can't go in here. No, of course not. Could do with a battery. <laughs> I know we've got nine. Actually, there's the stairs. Stairs are always good. But are we supposed to go up or down? I know we're probably supposed to be going down because giggle because um, the lift was going down. But yep, looks like it is. You do with a brolly. Do you know the amount of umbrellas I've given away, being a white knight and all that, I have given away so many umbrellas. Like, you see, random chicas needing an umbrella when it's raining, and I keep like, oh, have this one. And it's like, I must have gone to about six or seven by now. I gave April the last one. Anyway, um, aha. Breathe in. I can hear, there's so many phones beeping at me. Um, teamwork. Team player. Murkoff Corporation. That's a bit of a weird name, isn't it? Right. I don't know if we're supposed to be, if there's anyone else moving about. I can't hear anything. I have just bought the DLC for this as well. Whistleblower. Oh god. I see you. He sees me, I'm sure. Can I get out of this way, please? I don't want to go near him. Oh, God. He's a very angry man. He's like Father Jack. Father Jack Hackett. Except he looks slightly less scary than Father Jack Hackett. Thank right. God you survived. I feared yeah, you didn't know, did you? Would carve you up like the others. Meet me outside. We're close now. Meet him outside? Outside? How do we how do we get outside, Father? Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Oh, this looks promising. Ish. Actually, this doesn't look. Oh, this isn't. No, this isn't what I call promising. Burning hands in the sink are rarely promising. What is going on there? And a leg. Horrific. I mean, I, I don't even know if you could get. A, oh, that would stink, wouldn't it? Can you imagine the smell? I don't think you could get a leg to burn like that, probably. Properly. You'd need a lot of accelerant. But anyway. Anyway, that's that's beside the 
the point. Right, this door must open. Yes. Oh god, more corpses. Sorry, I was sorry, reading a text. Stupid WhatsApp. Right, um... Freaking WhatsApp is so unreliable, anyway, these days. <gasps> that door does open. Right, let's have a look the other way first. We haven't actually come across a single battery for quite a while. Oh, no. Oh, a file. It says, Mr. Wilder, please accept the immediate resignation of Orderly. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I do think the staff were somewhat, somewhat to blame for what's happened here, but. But anyway. Some would say, you think, but. Uh, yes. I think somewhat, a little bit of mistreatment of. Uh, Service users, as the politically correct term is to, to say. Not jobs, as I guess I would probably say. Um, bit of mistreatment going on, I think. Now, we obviously go up there. However, why is it so incredibly hazy? Is the whole building on fire or something? Hang on. Now, that door obviously opens as well. <gasps> Battery! One single battery sitting on the shelf. Anyway, that tops us up to ten, which is always good. That doesn't look good, does it? I get the feeling we're going to be dodging flames soon. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, this fire looked like it got a bit out of hand. It has just saved, doesn't it? So... Oh god, is he alive? All of it. Murkoff took so much from us. Used us. Turned us into these things because nobody cares about a few forgotten lunatics. So let it burn. Burn the whole goddamn thing down. Get up. You are going to get up. Turn on the sprinkler system to extinguish the... Th oh, am I supposed to go through there? That's probably how I get out. However... Probably can't go over that way, right? Little... Ow! Little bit worrying that the sprinkler system isn't automatic. But... If I was a sprinkler system... Actually, let's get some film footage of this. Actually, that's quite good. The way the flame seems to have a slightly different look about it when you've got the, the camera up. Anyway, um... Ah, how bright. Yeah, so a little bit worrying that the, um, the sprinkler system didn't come on already. I know it's probably the other way. I'm just having a little browse. Ah! Now that looks like a bit you can edge through to escape maniacs. What the hell? I don't really know what I'm looking for, to be honest. Is that a different name? I'm sure that's a different name. Anyway, um... Let's see what we got. And if you're seeing things, let's say something. There's no shame in pathos. <laughs> Psychopathological to proximity stress disorder. Okay. I, say, I did see something. Like I say, a gap that we looks like we could edge through. Was I supposed to have gone this way or the other way? Or is that just for the sake of the file? It might have been. I like the way the gaps are always just wide enough to fit through. Anyway, we normally get a little bit of oh god, get a little bit of warning before. That's got to be that. Damn it! See now that's getting a little bit repetitive as well. This whole thing of there's two valves to find for everything it seems.
Can I hear footsteps? Yep. Is that a massive angry dude? Oh, it is. It's Christopher Walken. Oh, no. Is there? Yeah, there is. Oh, God. Stalked by Christopher Walken. We've all been there. See, this is where I could really do with the headphones. See, if I knew where the valves were, it probably wouldn't be too difficult to just run up and... God almighty, what was that? Uh, sorry, just to run past him and, and do the valves. I keep hearing bangs. I don't know if it's the score or whether it's... Whether it's him. Chrissy. Thing is, I. Oh, this. God almighty! What was that? Was he breaking something? Was that just. Was that just him walking? I know that the minute I step out of the locker, I'm gonna get my head kicked in. I had this with Alien Isolation. My timing for stepping out of lockers is awful. I wish I knew where he was. I could do with one of those motion scanners, actually. Oh god, I'm going to absolutely crap myself because I know that he's going to come walking out of... <gasps> I said sprinkler valve. Where the hell is the sprinkler valve? Get in the locker! Quickly get in the locker. Right, that's one done. Dear God. Whew. Thing is, he does sort of one-shot you, essentially. And I don't think the game auto saved. I'm tempted to save while I'm in the locker. Over a new slot, though, just in case. Well, that's weird, because I'm sure I did, on the last part, when I saved it, I'm sure I saved it in a different part. He's pretty close. I can hear him. I can hear him. Chris. Chrissy boy. I do wonder if he just opens lockers at random, because if he does, we could be screwed, because there aren't many to choose from in here. It's really difficult to tell the difference between my breathing and his breathing. I am freaking terrified. Right, that's one valve done. Any idea where the other one is? Oh, Christ on a bike! Oh no! Oh god, he saw me! Run right away! I'm dead. I'm absolutely dead. What's in here? No idea. Run away! Ouch! Right in the face. Two shots. Two shots. Nice. Ouch. And that did make me jump. This, this is what I mean, look. Back here. So have I not activated even one yet? Oh, for God's sake. So you got to do both valves. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do, I'm going to not exactly cheat here, but I'm going to kind of... He saw me. I'm going to just try and... Because there's one in there. Let's try and find out where the other one is. Jesus, he's swift. He's right behind me still. Yep. <laughs> Come on. Really? Is the other one in here? 
No, of course, of course it's not. Why would it be? That would be useful. He's actually not that hard to outrun. Oh, I see him. Is that something I can squeeze through? Yeah, it is. Nice. And fat boy Chrissy can't follow us. Nice, that's where the other one is. Except there is a door at the other end. Fine, I'm fine. Okay, so that's one valve, and we know where the other one is. I'll try creeping past this dude because I've got a worrying feeling he's gonna he's gonna flip out. As if in this whole time I haven't eaten, like the character won't pick up a single weapon. No complaining now. We have to wash every little part. Extreme bath times. Uh, I think I'll avoid that. Right. Anyway, we'll press on. So I know where the other valve is. It's just a case of getting there without having my head kicked in. It does seem that the key to this is just running like buggery because in Alien I said, you see my battery's gone up to 10 to full 10 out of 10 again. <laughs> Interesting. It obviously is a bit of a glitch. But um, what was I going to say? Yeah, the, obviously in Alien Isolation, as soon as you get spotted, you get murdered. Whereas in this, you do get quite a chance to run away. I'd rather be in events. <laughs> anyway, um, that's not happening. I need to see him so I can... So essentially, we need to go down there, then obviously throw a right, then yeah, down where we were before. Oh god! I just don't want to end up getting. If he sees me and follows me into that room, I'm screwed. But if I can, yeah, sorry. If I can get into that room without him seeing me. Where the hell is he? Oh Christ. Nothing to see, Chrissy boy. He's gone in there. Nice. Nice. So that this is both valves. This is where it all went wrong last time, though. I don't know if he actually comes into this room. God almighty, yeah, that sounds close. What I wouldn't give for a motion scanner right now. might be able to hide here. Seriously hope we can, because if he walks past me I can then actually close the door on him. Run!
Nice. All we need to do is get through this little gap. Nice. There we go. Can't really remember where we're actually going now. No, that was the other way where there was just that file. What I'm slightly concerned about is the fact that the music's still rather ominous. I would love a save point about now. I'm just going to save anyway and hopefully it will, it will remember it. Oh my god, right, yes. Oh Jesus Christ on a bike! Fucking hell! Oh my god, absolutely crap myself. I wonder if I have to... Oh my god! Ah, oh, sorry about that. Jeez. What the hell? Why a random loading screen? Oh, here we go, outside. Why do I get the feeling this isn't going to be as simple as I'd hoped? Is that a file? It is. I thought there must be something in here, being this kind of reception area. Oh, here we go. Uh, last several months, Bluebird has been in here and asked them. Is that a Okay, can I push on control? Take my knees under any conditions. Can I have a bunch of thousand? Interesting. Really? We can go in here? With an incredibly unrealistic cobweb? That's terrible. Anyway. No files or anything? No. What's the point in coming in here then? Okay. Don't quite know why you'd want to go in there. Right, here we go. Sunday's obviously getting. Oh, yeah, right. Look how dark it is. Is that someone carrying a torch? I have no idea what that is. Oh no! Rubbish. What the hell? What the hell was that? Oh, bugger this, we're going to have to pause this and start a new recording. I don't know what that was, that sounded horrific. It sounded like a ghost or something. Anyway, um, join me again soon, possibly, um, and I shall carry on with some more of this, and we shall see if we can find the good reverend and see if we can find a way out of here. This is getting really creepy now. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you again soon.